In today's Sims 4 build challenge, we're gonna be building a house, but we cannot use the same item twice. So for example, if I wanted to make like a dining room, I could put my table down, but all of my chairs will have to be different. So to fix that, I would have to try and find items that look similar, but they can't be the same. And the goal is to try and make everything look intentional. We're gonna be doing the same thing for our exterior, which means all of our windows have to be different. And I have been so sick the past couple days, I don't know what's come over me, but this will be a very cozy video today with lots of tea like this kind i don't have any other tea little did she know it was about to get a lot worse like a lot worse I have not been uploading this week because I've been feeling like absolutely terrible. Today's the first day that I feel able to edit. Not COVID thankfully, but I have this like virus and it it, it just sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. So hopefully I'll be able to get back to filming like this weekend or early next week. But first, here's a word from a healthier me. And this video is sponsored by Dragon City. This is an adorable free to play mobile game available on all devices. Collect over a thousand dragons with unique designs designs, elements, and rarities, and build your own empire on floating islands, farms, habitats, and more. You can raise, breed, train, and evolve your dragons into powerful beasts that will defend you in battle. You can combine dragons of flame, nature, ice, electric, and many other elements to breed unique dragons. And of course, they're gonna get hungry, so you can hatch your dragon eggs, feed them, and watch them evolve. You can even take part in PvP battles, such as the master arenas where you can battle your friends, and even challenge other dragon masters. I absolutely love the dragon designs in this game and really enjoy being able to raise my dragons and watch them fight. There are even dragons of YouTubers in this game like Mr. Beast, Mariah, and Darman. And if that doesn't convince you to play this game, I don't know what will. There's tons more to do in this game like join an alliance, to work with other players in exclusive events, and unlock chests full of awesome loot. Participate in weekly mini games to claim prizes every day and catch new dragons. Download Dragon City by clicking the link in the description or scan the QR code and get a special free starter pack with 70,000 food plus the epic Preparious Dragon. Thank you so much to Dragon City for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. Okay, let's go ahead and start building our shell here. Obviously for this challenge, walls aren't gonna count. We can put as many walls as we want. I'm gonna start out building a rectangle this way. We don't want this house to be too big because I'll literally run out of options for what we can put, but I do want it to be like a decent size. I think our vibe today is going to be cottage, but I was thinking about using a lot of snowy escape because I know the windows are very similar. Maybe I'll make a bump out here at the front for the entryway and we can do the opposite above there. We'll just kind of like bring that out a bit. I was thinking over on this side, maybe we can do like a garage over here or a separate room with like a skill item. So I'm actually gonna start to build some platforms. I'm gonna raise these up quite a bit and then this is also gonna make our build look a little bit more interesting. I'm just gonna go in with my platform tool down here and as we go, I'm just gonna raise it up so that it's slightly lower than the one that we just put. And this is how you can make platform stairs. Your Sims will be able to get up there as long as it's only that one tick separation for each. We're gonna put some platform paint on there. Things like that I'm not gonna be too strict about. Like I'm not gonna do a different platform paint for every stair. But now we can go inside here and raise this up to meet the platform and that's gonna be level with everything. It's gonna work out fine. For our roofing, I'm gonna go in with this gabled roof piece and I'm gonna start off with the little garage part that we did. So I'm just gonna bring that all the way over, adjust it properly. I'm gonna hold a shift C on my keyboard to toggle on and off more adjusters. And I'm just gonna bring that in a little bit. We're gonna have like the tiniest little curve there. And I'm gonna use that one and copy and paste it for everything else. So maybe we can do one big piece right here. We can rotate that one and put that over here as well. Just kind of make sure that part is hidden in there. And then for the front, I could put just like a small half gabled roof piece here. So we're gonna fit that on there, adjust it accordingly. And we're gonna give that a tiny little curve there too. For the roofing, I'm gonna go in and do a different roofing for each roofing piece we just put. The main one that I wanted to use was this one. So I'm gonna put that on like the biggest roofing piece. Then maybe over here on the side, we could do that one. And then down here, we'll do that metal one there. And for wallpaper, we're gonna have to do the same kind of thing. I'm thinking for the inside, I'll allow like we can put one wallpaper per room, but we can't reuse it anywhere else in the house. So we can do the same thing for like sections here. Like for this section of the house, we can use that one there, but then we can't use it for the rest. I've done this challenge before, but I didn't do the exterior and I'm 
realizing now how difficult this might be. Like at the front there, we can use that brick. I wanna find something similar to that stone. We could maybe do Discover University over here. We can do like a white wallpaper, a white brick over here. So I'm just gonna put that over on this section. And then for the main one, I wanna keep it very like light. Maybe we can do cottage living in white for the bottom floor. And then this base game one, we can do for the top floor here. For the front balcony, we can use that fence there from Snowy Escape. And I was thinking about doing the same thing over to the side here, just like something like that, but I'm gonna have to change up the fence now. Maybe just as something with a similar like color, we could try that there. Or even maybe this fence from Cottage Living. We're gonna put a trim around here to make it look a little more pulled together. And now we can start off with windows and doors. And this is where I think it's gonna get tricky. Snowy Escape has like 14 different window options and they're all very similar. We also have one more hidden under like the medium wall height, which we do have today, so we can use that one too. But that's gonna be, I'm gonna try and just use these windows here. So we'll start off over here at the garage part. Maybe we'll do that window there with like this beside it. Then for my door, we'll just use that one. For my front door, I was thinking about using this big like garage-like one from Snowy Escape. And then up top, we could use maybe like that one there. So three different doors. Maybe we could do this window right here here at the front. I like that one. It kind of like bumps out a little bit. We could do this one here with this one over to the side. So front of our house looking like that. I normally put way too many windows. So really try and hold back here. Maybe to the side we can use this one here. It's going to be different than the one that I put. So there's the side of our house. And then in the back, I'm going to use this one here. Maybe I should switch these ones. We'll do the more see-through window one there. And then in the back, we can take this one. <laughs> this is going to get so confusing they're literally all the same. Okay, so we put that one and then look at the very slight difference between this one. It has a little bit more of like an under part there. I just need a couple more. I can maybe do that big one right there with like this smaller one at the bottom. I haven't used this one yet. We can put that there. And I don't think I used this one. Let me just double check. We've got the C3 one right there. And yeah, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna put that one right up at the top. Up here, we can do a chimney. Maybe one of these things here for like an accent. My terrain paint. I'm gonna bring out this way and then connect that there and I'm thinking of maybe doing like a river around this thing. So using my terrain tool, we're gonna lower the terrain. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and I'm just gonna bring this from like the front all the way around the back. So we'll have literally just a little river going all the way to the back there and since our landscaping can only be the same one once, it's gonna get a little tricky to fill up this lot. <laughs> maybe we could do the Japanese pine tree in the back. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger and rotate it. Maybe a couple of like pine trees to the side, just making sure that they're all different. We can do the Japanese maple tree over to the side here. And I'm thinking for the river, what I'm gonna actually do is open up debug. So we're gonna do bb.show hidden objects. And we're also gonna do bb.show live edit objects. And the reason there is because I know we only have like a couple rocks that I can use here, like these here, and that's not gonna be enough for me to landscape. So what we're gonna do is open up Snowy Escape. I'm gonna type in debug in my search bar and we're gonna search. And all the way at the bottom here, we have a bunch of different rocks we can use. I can put these like at the front of my house. I can try and get these to go like in the pond. Maybe something like that going around, just something to make it look a little bit more like natural. And then for my landscaping, the strategy strategy is going to be to like size things up so it takes up more space. It's going to be kind of tricky because I use a lot of these like multiple times per build, but I think the method of like sizing things up is uh, going to help us out here. So I'm going to do a little bit more landscaping. I'll add the rest of the details. I'm going to make some more tea and I will show you when I'm done. Okay, so after all my details, this is what it's looking like. I had to be really careful with what I put. Like for example, I have one window box over there because I thought it looked cute, but but I couldn't add more of them. I have literally one lonely little light right there. I might come back out later and add like these kind of lights here, but just like shrink them and put a whole bunch of different ones. So at nighttime, we can still see what's going on. I also did this cute little like half wall trick where I matched the same height of one of my platforms and I put a whole bunch of different plants in there. So it looks kind of like a planter, but not quite. And I'm torn on if I should do like different flooring up these stairs, but I'm kind of treating this area as like a room. Like I used a different flooring over here on this balcony and I feel like that's okay but then any of the wallpapers and flooring options that we used outside we cannot bring in inside. I also did a floor plan and look at the lighting differences I used in here. Normally I'll just
just go in with the saucer lights, but they're all different. I'm probably gonna end up changing them. But upstairs, we're gonna have two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a hallway area. And then downstairs, we're gonna have the main area right here, kitchen and dining, all open concept, a bathroom in the back. And over here is going to be our garage, which I might turn into like a skill room. So I actually think we're gonna start off over here. It's not connected to the rest of the house because the platforms are so high up. I actually just had the idea to do a hot spring. Like this item here from Snowy Escape, I was like, maybe I can fit it in there, no. But what if we put it over to the side here? We'll just move over our trees. I can add it kind of on a diagonal here, like near our tree back there. We could maybe do like a pathway leading over. And then we have a little walkway leading back to the hot spring. And the reason why I thought of that is that in here, maybe what we could do is like a spa room or a shower room where you would like come out of the hot spring and go in there. Or we could do a gym. We could do just some stone tile. It's just meant to be a garage. And then in here, we could do a whole bunch of workout gear. We could do a treadmill right there. Maybe the treadmill can actually go there and then we can do a punching bag over here on the rug. Oh, we do have gym clutter. I was just thinking it would be cute to have little weights or something for a gym. But we do have like this here. There's a little weight on that. I can maybe add a table and put some of this here, like the little snacks. There's also, oh, there's also that. There's weights in there too. Okay, cute. We could also do some spa day towels over here and maybe a big TV out here. Like we could do something like that. Maybe we'll just move the punching bag away from the TV. Actually, let's do a smaller one in here. I added another piece of gym equipment. I just added a speaker in here as well. And I just replaced the end table that I had over here with this one from Dine Out with a plant over here in the corner. I'm gonna put a big mirror over over on this wall. That one takes up a lot of room. And we've got ourselves a garage gym. It would be so nice to do your workout in here and then just go like over into the hot spring. I'm just double checking here to make sure I didn't reuse any items and I think we're good. I think we're ready to go into the real house. I'm gonna start off with this main area here and I'm thinking for flooring, maybe we could use jungle adventure for this whole thing. Although technically that is a separate room there. So maybe I will use like a tile in here for the kitchen and instead. I don't really know what style I want to go for yet, so I'm just gonna leave the flooring as is for now without wallpaper, and I just realized that I'm gonna have to use different counters for each counter in my kitchen. Uh-oh. <laughs> what if I put the filter to dark brown? How many options look similar here? This is not gonna be good. Okay, those two from Dream Home Decorator, different counter, look pretty similar. The color on this one for Spa Day is very similar, but the top is not white. We could just find one with a white top. Top. And then in there, what I can do is put one of the like dream home decorator ovens. So we'll do like a white there, then it gets rid of the color. We could do the stove top right beside it. And then maybe for our sink, we do something like that. And then maybe behind here, since we have that weird lip, we can kind of like try and cover it up with a cutting board. Maybe also like a chalkboard right there. We're just leaning all the things. And I mean, that doesn't look too weird. And then for our cabinets, maybe I can try and do this one from dream home decorator with that one there. Those are different cabinets. With that one there from Cottage Living on the end, <laughs> I'm literally not even worrying about placement right now. I'm just trying to make it work. But okay, for right now, we've got that. I'm gonna do, I think, a snowy escape wallpaper in here. Like one that we haven't used yet. Maybe we can use this one here. Actually, this is great because these are technically different wallpapers. And I can use this one in here and they're different. I think we can get away with that. Okay, so I have that part there. I'm thinking about maybe doing like an island. I still need a fridge. I need my smoke detector. My fridge will be that one there from Jungle Adventure. My trash can, I already used this one here outside. So we have to use a different one and maybe just like that there. In here, we could do a snowy escape dining table there. And then for my chairs, I feel like the best bet is gonna be to go either like a white or a dark brown if I can find very similar ones. I highly doubt all the brown shades are gonna match though. Okay, wait, we have one, two brown chairs. Three, that one there is from base game. Oh, I don't know, maybe not. Okay. I'm gonna try the white chairs instead. Okay, so this one and this one match pretty well like that. And then maybe we get a rug and pull it all together. Ooh, I don't know. I feel like I need more color in here. Let's try and put a plant, literally anything we can add to make this look a little bit better. Okay, so this is what I ended up doing for my kitchen and dining. None of the same items used twice, although I have just used both of my hanging plant options and I'm a little worried about that. I normally use this one at least like three times in one build, but we've got some book letter over here that also functions as a bookshelf. Snowy Escape plant there and over to the left I also added in this tea shelf from Snowy Escape along with some other like
like clutter items on there as well. I'm gonna bring the lighting downstairs that I had upstairs. I'm gonna use that one in the main room and that means we can use maybe a saucer light upstairs. And for the main area, I'm thinking about maybe putting it on a diagonal. Let's maybe do a snowy escape fireplace in the corner. I haven't used my snowy escape rug yet, so maybe I can put that over here. Then we can do some cozy seating there. I haven't used either of those from snowy escape. We could do a plant in the corner with a little laundry basket right there. We'll get some pictures on the wall. And for that area, I think we're looking good. I do want to put something under my stairs though. We could do a tiny little desk like this one here. I could put a computer on there. It might be a little weird to have just under the stairs like this, but I just moved the bookshelf under there that we had in the kitchen and dining. I feel like it makes more sense to be under there anyway. Maybe I'll also put fairy lights under there. Maybe it's like a teen who does their homework down there. Cute. Okay, we need to do the rest of this room here, which is basically just like the entryway. We could do fitness stuff rug there. I also have these weird little nooks beside my door, just the way that the exterior turned out. So I think I'm going to take one of these shelves here from Dream Home Decorator. Actually, there's two different ones. Okay, wait, this one has more of like a rounded look. I'm going to put both of those in there and we're going to put like a lamp in there or anything to brighten it up. It's so dark in these corners, but I'm running out of ceiling light options. So we've got those. And now what I want to do is hang some clothes. We're going to have to make sure they look different, but this can basically be like where you would hang up your coat. You can grab your hat. We'll use a different option for that side over there. We could also do a mirror right here with some shoe clutter at the front door. And we still have a little bit of room. I just added this shelf here from Eco Lifestyle and underneath it, I'm going to put an ottoman there with the idea being you could like put your shoes on and just like go out the door basically. Okay, so here's what we ended up doing for our downstairs. I used different versions of the fairy lights over to the left there just to add a little something extra to that wall. No repeating items down here yet. We need to go and do the bathroom next though. And in here, I used the freaking like kids ceiling light like this one that I literally never use. I think I'm going to replace that with this one here from Cottage Living. For our flooring down here, I'm going to use that one there from Dine Out. Wallpaper. What did I use over here? This is the Eco Lifestyle wallpaper. Okay, so we can't use that. We could do the fitness stuff one. It's very similar. And in here, we could do a shower. Maybe we'll do a bathtub in the upstairs one. So we'll do shower right to the side there. We can do a toilet right beside that. Our new toilet paper. Actually, this is great. Now I can have two different toilet papers. Maybe I'll raise up like a roll of toilet paper and put it back there just to make it look a little more realistic. We'll do a bath mat there. And then on the other side, maybe we can use this one here from base game. We'll put a plant right beside it. Maybe I'll just like move everything over a little bit. Our mirror, we can use that one there from spa day. I still have a little bit of room here. So maybe I'll put up that shelf there. Got some clutter on it. I don't have to worry about putting anything else on there. And maybe we can just put a small picture in there. This one looks like it could be in snowy escape, but there we go. That is going to be our first bathroom here. This one's kind of cute. I really like that plant in there and it's cohesive with the rest of the house. I feel like I'm scared that I've messed up and like I'm unaware that I've done it. My brain is a little foggy today because I'm not feeling good, but I think we're, I think we're okay still. So maybe we could do this base game one kind of matches the cats and dogs one that I've got. So I'll bring that upstairs. My wallpaper is going to look really weird because it's going to cut off right there, but we could just do some regular paint to try and match that. I don't know. It's just a hallway anyway. That makes me think I should change this here. So I'm going to do that from Eagle Lifestyle as my flooring and I'll change my lighting here so that it's that one. I've been going with like the brown tones for the lighting. I don't really know what I want to put up here yet. We could potentially do another study area, one that isn't like right underneath the stairs. Also look at all these base game doors. These are all different from base game. <laughs> There's so many of the same one. For our computer, I need to use a different one. We could use that. We'll do like that chair right there. Maybe we can put a cork board over there. What about like a goldfish or one of these things? I don't want to use up one of my plants for the hallway because I'm kind of running low on those, but we could do the salt lamp. For my rug up here, I'm using this one from City Living sized up. Maybe a nifty knitting hanging plant right there. And maybe over in this corner, we can do a bookshelf with a mirror up top. Okay, so in our hallway, I just added a chair over here from Dream Home Decorator with a picture and a plant. So that's what we got in our corner. And then over here, I had a little extra room, so I added an easel. We've got our desk, our bookshelf over to the side with a mirror. And okay, we are almost in the clear. We've got a bathroom and a couple bedrooms to go. And I think I'm going to do my bathroom since it's fresh in my mind. I know exactly what I just used downstairs. So for my wallpaper, I'm using that one there from Spa Day. And I haven't really decided on any flooring 
yet. There are two different types of spa day flooring that look kind of similar. There's this one here, the flowing lines, and this one here called now and zen. I think I'm gonna use that upstairs in my bathroom. And for this one, we can do snowy escape toilet, maybe with a dream home decorator sink over to the side here. This time we'll use that big glowing mirror instead of the regular spa day one. We'll use the base game toilet paper. And then on this side over here, we actually have a lot of room in here. I could do a bathtub like that one there from Snowy Escape. And behind there, since I have a little bit of room, maybe we can do some bamboo plants just to add to the vibe back there. Ooh, actually, what about instead of the bamboo, maybe we can still keep one of them somewhere. I used to use this item all the time. I don't know how I forgot about it, but I think I'm gonna use that. And then we can even take it one step further by adding one of these right behind it. So it looks like there's some plants coming down, but they're not actually touching. They're just kind of like behind there like that. This is cute. Very relaxing in here. We could probably also use a curtain. My first pet stuff actually has some pretty nice blinds. So we're gonna put those there and that's gonna be our second bathroom. Moving along here, let's go and do two of our bedrooms. One of them is gonna be a parent bedroom. The other I think is gonna be a teen room. I think I'm gonna do this one for the parent bedroom so they have the balcony there. And I'm just double checking to make sure I haven't used that base game wood yet. We're good. For my wallpaper, actually I'm gonna find a bed before we figure that out. I think since I've been using so much snowy escape, I should probably use the snowy escape bed. Maybe we could use this wallpaper in here. We could get the big fluffy rug from high school years. I'm obsessed with putting that underneath every bed. And maybe for my end tables, we could use one of these and we just leave the other side empty maybe. I'm gonna change my lighting. I want it to be a lot more cozy in here. Maybe we could go in with like a stand up lamp. We could do the dresser over in that corner. Maybe a mirror, like a stand up mirror over in the corner. I do need one more light. Okay, now I have all my essentials. We've got our mirror and everything. Now we can start to clutter and add more things. I'm also running out of plants that I haven't used here yet. We haven't used that one. We could put that over in the corner. We could maybe do an ottoman at the end of the bed if we're gonna have enough room for it. Maybe we could do a poof over here by the mirror. I'm really liking how the green looks in here with like this shade of brown. I'm adding just a couple extra things around. I do want to add some shoe clutter. I just need to double check what I used downstairs. We can use these. And I think this is gonna be our parents' bedroom. It's pretty plain in here, kind of neutral with like a little bit of green, no items used more than one time, but we're still following the challenge rules in here and we are ready to move on to the teen room. So moving on from here, we have one more room to go. We're gonna find some wood flooring. Maybe we could try something like that. I actually might go dark in this room. The reason being because I know Snowy Escape has this one table hidden away in swatches that I like. This one here with the stickers, I basically wanna revolve everything around this table. Maybe the sim that lives in here, like our teen sim, doesn't get along with their parents. They're gonna have this really dark room. Maybe that's why they choose to be like hidden away under the stairs when they do their homework. Maybe for this sim, the gym is their escape, the outdoor area there. Their parents are really strict. The whole house is very like clean cut looking. So maybe they're just very different from the rest of the house. We could do this light up mirror over here. I haven't used that yet. Maybe we can get a couch. Oh, I'm running out of rugs that I want to use here. On this side, I'm gonna try and match a dresser over here. We can do a TV. I just realized there's no TV downstairs other than in the gym. So maybe their parents are so strict they don't even let them watch that unless they're like on their own. We'll do a plant right there. I think I wanna do maybe a couple chairs like facing the TV. Or we do just one there and then add like pillows beside it. I need a plant that I haven't used. I guess we're gonna put this one. It kind of sucks that everything I'm using in here is like leftover items. Like this is all the things that I didn't get to use yet. But even with that in mind, I still think it looks cool in here. We've got the neon on there. Obviously a very different style than what we've seen already today. So I think I'm gonna leave this for our teen room. I kind of like the story here. I like how it's very different from the rest of the house. Little bit of backstory with our gameplay that could potentially happen in here. And for this challenge, none of our items repeated. Everything was used only once in this build. I think I'm just gonna put maybe like a tree out here on the balcony with maybe like a chess table out here. I can put a couple chairs, like those two there, one from base game, one from get together. And actually my game just turned to fall. I had to like move people in here to change the lighting and look how cute it looks. I love how you can see a little bit of pink through the teen bedroom as if they did that on purpose. They're like rebelling a little bit. But here is our using every item only one time in the Sims 4 build challenge. I hope you guys like this. I hope my voice didn't sound too awful today. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me 
out. Thank you again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. And again, check out that link in the description to download the game. Get a free special starter pack with 70,000 food plus the epic Preparious Dragon. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.